Good morning, this is Travels with Dottie, and it is April the 6th, 2024, and I'm going to give you a review of Shelly Belly Bagels. And the way you get there is we're coming up on 160 here, we're on 372, we go straight through that intersection, and we're going to come to the roundabout up here, and I'm going to show you how to get to this out of the out of the way local place that you're gonna love and if um, you love bagels you love new york style bagels this is it so here we're coming up to the roundabout um and it's like you know if you don't know what a roundabout is it's kind of a circular thing in an intersection and you want to go kind of straight through <clears throat> so you don't want to make a right here you want to go halfway around and then keep going straight on this road here and immediately you're going to see this little shopping strip on the right, the white place, and you're going to pull in here. There we go. We're going to pull in here and we're going to drive all the way to the end there where we see, look, there are a bunch of cars parked here. And we have arrived. It's there on the right and I'll show you in a minute. Um, what it looks like from the front after I get out of the car here. But I found a parking spot right out front, right next to the front door here. And I'm walking around the back of the car so I can show you what the front of the place looks like. And there it is. Shelly Bagel, Shelly Belly Bagels. So here we are at Shelly Belly's, and this is Shelly. Hi, Hi, how you doing? Tell me about your business. Okay, this is Shelly Belly New York Bagels. I'm uh, located at 1190 East Highway 372, suite number one, and the phone number is 775-469-9064, and I make all these lovely bagels. Well, let's see. Every single one, all myself. We have jalapeno cheddar, cheddar cheese, pizza, plain, onion, twisted stinky, which is onion and garlic twisted together. Uh, everything, sesame seeds, salt, French toast, blueberries, cinnamon raisin, chocolate chip, garlic. I make biscotti. This is cranberry almond biscotti. And every day, this is, we're getting famous now for our apple fritters. We have fresh apple fritters every day. That's apple cider glaze. This is maple frosting, and that is cream cheese frosting. And we're branching out. We got some muffins now. We have croissants. If you, because have people come up and they don't want a bagel, you know, they want a sandwich, so have it on a croissant. So New York style, right? Mm -hmm. Bagels. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? Does really, that mean? it means. I think it means that it's boiled. You got to boil a bagel before you bake it. So let me tell you, it's so takes... not many people know that. So I what know. what is what does that look like? You know, that's that's what got me to make a bagel. Okay, uh, during COVID, my daughter sent me a bottle, a jar of um, everything but the bagel seasoning, and I put it on everything. And I was like, man, a bagel! I heard you boil a bagel. I gotta try this. Can just hang on a second. Folks, do you mind being in the background no, in a, in no. a okay, YouTube video? Okay, I just wanted to make sure. Okay. okay. Yeah, so um, yeah, so I said, this I gotta try, and boiling, I'm, how can you boil a bagel? So I did, and, and they come out great. That's what gives, the boil is what gives it the chew. Otherwise it's just oh, bread. Oh, okay, otherwise yeah. it's just, I never, just never, never occurred to me. Yeah. So let's see, let's look at the menu real quick here. We have breakfast sandwiches. Yep. Is that new this year? No, uh, no, no, I did it last year, but I started out with just cream cheese, one one flavor cream cheese, plain, and my bagels. And now we have bacon, egg, and cheese, sausage, egg, and cheese, ham, egg, and cheese, or uh, what we call a whatever, which is pork roll or Taylor ham. See, in New Jersey, it's a big New Jersey thing. In New Jersey, there's a big rivalry, okay? Northern New Jersey calls it Taylor ham, southern New Jersey calls it pork roll. Taylor ham, pork roll, whatever. And isn't just it a Pennsylvania it. thing too? No, Taylor it's ham? New Jersey. It's thing. New Jersey. It's okay. New Jersey, basically. And we got people were clamoring for lox, so now we got we got Nova lox. I buy the best I can get. Uh, all our sandwiches, uh, ham and you know ham and cheese, which is a Brooklyn Bridge, Staten Island, which is turkey boob, you know turkey breast. 
uh, and cheese. We got loads of different uh, flavors of cream cheese now. We got plain strawberry, blueberry, garden veg, scallion, and we do a uh, fireball, which is loaded with fireball whiskey. <laughs> and we do, and we do one that's called Christmas in Your Mouth. That's loaded with eggnog, with rum, brandy, and whiskey. Wow. Yeah. So with the bagels, do you ever get New Yorkers come in and say, oh. hey, this is just like home? Yes. That's, that's the thing that really that kicks me, you know, that makes, makes my heart stop, is that people come in from New York and they're like, these are excellent. They're just like home. So that's, that makes me say, okay, I got a good product. I, I remember that old TV series from the 90s, Northern Exposure. You ever see that? Uh -huh. Oh, Where yeah, Dr. Alaska, yeah. New York, and he would have bagels flown in from Manhattan because right? he couldn't get anything. Well, he, he was kind of holier than thou anyway, <laughs> but still, you know. <laughs> the, and Alaska brought him down to where he should be. Anyway, so yeah, this is, and we have all kinds of sodas and drinks. Um, of course, coffee, decaf. Hot apple cider, hot chocolate, whatever your heart desires. When so, people ask me for stuff, if I don't have it, I get it. So it's, it's like breakfast or lunch? Breakfast and lunch, yeah, breakfast for sure. For sure. And we got the toaster. Now we also, we take EBT now. Oh, you take EBT, we take for, EBT. For, for anything on the yep, menu? Yep, for yeah. snap. And uh, I can only sell cold things, so you can come down. You can have a deli sandwich. I can make you a deli sandwich cold, no problem. I can sell you uh, bagels with cream cheese, or I can sell you bagel, and you can toast your own cream, your own bagel over there. Oh, okay. Uh, Tricky. You got it around yeah. there, didn't you? And I'm, uh, I'm getting a microwave so that I can put in here in the refrigerator um, sausage, egg and cheese, bacon, egg and cheese, ham, egg and cheese, so they'll be cold and, and you, you can, can heat, heat it, it yourself. yourself. Yeah. Aren't well, you smart? Gal's trying to make a living, you know? <laughs> this is my friend, Brett. Brett, Brett, do you mind being on YouTube, Brett? Uh, I guess not. He's, well, he's, he's, he does Brett's weed removal. He's like the best in town. The best. Weed removal? Okay. Yes, sir. Brett, how do there's, you... There's his truck. You can get his number right on there. Okay. Well, um, that's on camera. 702-444-6668. Brett's weed removal and yard cleanup. Right here in Pahrump. Oh. All right. Nevada only. Yep. All right, so we got two Perump businesses on oh, today's yeah. video. That's nice. great. And see, his business comes into my business. And when I was renting that house, I had him do my weed removal, too. Yep. See, one hand washes the other, and both hands wash the face. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, thanks very much for the interview, and I'm going to... Probably I'm going to order a breakfast sandwich. And oh, we'll see nice. How that is. Thank you so much for coming <laughs> you by. You won't be disappointed. Aw, <laughs> thanks. Say that again. You won't be disappointed. Yay. <laughs> All right. So I got the breakfast sandwich with the Taylor ham. That sounded so good. And this is what it looks like. And I want to give you a real good close up look. And I think if you look real close, you can see the steam coming off okay, it. Okay, hello. So the bagel's toasted, everything's nice and hot, and wonderful looking. Let's get in real close. Doesn't that look delicious? Well, she came by and said, you know, the right way to do this is with ketchup, salt, and pepper. And I had my doubts, but I trusted her, and it was amazing! Well, let me tell you something, guys. Um, Shelly Belly's Bagels, this little place is a gem in Pahrump, and it's a little off the beaten path, and definitely a local thing, um, and so if you're visiting Pahrump, um, you are going to be way ahead of any other tourists by understanding where you can get a authentic, amazing New York style bagel and sandwiches and boy that breakfast sandwich you heard me rave about it and I still got this the taste is still in my mouth it is it was so so good and her advice to uh to add the the ketchup and the salt and pepper <laughs> I didn't think much of it at first but boy did that make a huge difference because I ate a little bit without the ketchup and the salt and pepper, and then I added the ketchup and salt and pepper, and boy, it was amazing. <laughs> it's really good. So I'm going to try to maybe find some more of these off-the-beaten-path places in Pahrump. I hope you enjoyed this one, and as always, I really love it that you spend your valuable time
watching my videos. Take care.